Hi, everybody. We will be starting our uh, short uh, discussion in eight minutes. We will be starting in six minutes. Stand by, everybody.
Every, uh, everyone can hear me? Hi, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. Hi, how are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing good. Good, good, good. Okay. With that, uh, at any time possible, uh, if you want to ask questions, uh, just uh, unmute your mic and ask me questions. Stop me at any time or at anywhere of uh, our discussion and I will answer your questions as soon as possible. If you don't want to uh, say something out loud, then you can type in the chat box and that, that would be fine as well. Okay, okay, with that, uh, I'm All right. I am going to start my, uh, I would say lecture, yeah, a little bit lecture for today. So uh, welcome to week two of online journalism, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wait, I'm going to admit Larissa uh, and Winnie. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, we have uh, 14 of us right now. Okay. So with that, welcome to week two of online journalism. So if you head on to times, there is two uh, video lectures for you to actually watch, which is the first one is um, a continuation of how to write inverted news pyramid uh, writing style, okay, and uh, the second one would be how to uh, interview uh, a person, or in journalism, we call uh, the person you would like to interview is a source, okay, not S-A-U-C-E, which is Thousand Island Source, no, it's a source where you get your information from, okay, great, chat. Okay, hi Larissa. Okay, so um, any questions so far for uh, tutorial week one and uh, video lectures for both weeks? Any questions so far that I can actually answer to you? Not answer the tutorial, but any questions or any uh, worries about how to do the tutorial? Anything? No. Nope. No, so far no. So far so good. Okay, with that, okay, I am going to share with you today uh, is uh, a little bit. First, we will talk about global news agencies uh, that you need to know as a journalism student. Uh, and the second of all is how uh, a short uh, lecture on how to write inverted news permit writing. Uh, and then the third one would be how to write your uh, blog postings uh, every week. And I'm going to show you how to write an opinion piece for today. So, okay, with that, let's start. Okay, Angel, I admit Angel. Okay, give me a second. Okay, 16 of us. Cool. Okay, new share. You guys can see my screen, right? Which is good. So, share. Okay, I'm going to hide my floating panel thingy. I'm going to hide my face. Okay, so, uh, Eric. Admit. Okay. Nice okay, everybody is in. Everybody is in. Uh, I think everybody is almost in. Okay. Okay, with that, people, uh, I'm going to start with. Uh, I'm going to hide this first. So annoying. Okay. Uh, what you see here, this would be uh, my screen uh, whereby um, 
the first website right here would be uh, a John's France Press. Okay, so this would be a, a global news agency. In journalism itself, it's important to know the, the three global news agencies because as a journalism student, you would like to actually, uh, you know, if, if, if you like writing and you, you like the idea of, of getting news information, you know, it, it's in you. You like to meet people, you like to write, you like the rush of information, you like to inform people about something. So, and, 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 and uh, along the way, you think, oh, journalism would be the right path for you. So the most highest uh, accreditation that a journalist can work is with a global news agency. Okay, so if you would like to work, for example, if you are if you have finished your diploma or your degree in in, in journalism or in communication or in mass comm, uh, then and and then along the way you say, okay, I will work. Uh, I want to be a reporter, and I I, I want to work with the star. Okay, so a few years you spend with a star as a journalist. So you may you you may ask yourself, oh. Uh, where, 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 where should I be heading? Uh, I, I, I don't think that, uh, you know, I, I just want to be a local reporter. Where should I go? So these three global news agency would be the um, ideal, ideal organization that most reporters around the world would like to work with. Okay, and the first one would be, okay, uh, okay, would be a John's France Press uh, uh, from France, uh, from France, whereby uh, it's a global news agency that cater all sorts of information uh, from around the world. So when we talk about AFP, uh, a John's France Press stands for it's it's a short for AFP, whereby uh, it's in France, whereby uh, the reporters come comes from all around the world, and it will be a great honor if 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 you can actually work for AFP. It means that if you can work with AFP, it means that you have a good set of uh, uh, of of interviewing skills. Give me a second, yeah. Give me a second, give me a second. Give me a second. Where is my floating thingy? Uh, give me, give me, give me, give me a second. Uh, give me a second. My child is, is, is on my audio. Where should I go? Where should I go? Give me a second, I can't find return to meeting. Ayo! Give me a second, yeah. Okay, sorry people, sorry people. Okay, coming back. Okay, hoping that you can see the screen right now. So what we have here is that the AFP itself, give me a second, oh my God. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Okay. Okay. On to the uh because it's at home, it'd be much more difficult for me to actually do the lectures with a baby around. Okay, so sorry because of that. Okay, I'm gonna hide my floating uh meeting controls and coming back to this would be the AFP uh website. So AFP is is a website whereby uh, uh, it's a global news agency. When we talk about global news agency, every reporter who 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 is who has a degree in journalism, who has a qualification in journalism, would like to work with with one of these agencies. It's one of the Ajans Front Press. So when you go to a website uh, of a global news agency from AFP, from France, it will look like this. So this would be the headline. So first, uh, you can see a picture right here. The layout is much more neater from other news agencies. That I must, um, uh, I must, I must tell you. You know. So uh, we have right here, you know, fact checking. And then you have the agency right uh, about the agency products of the agency, and it's pretty pretty interesting. So we have editors' choice and latest wires and things like that. So uh, that will be the first global news agency uh, for uh, you to know. Okay, the second of all would be okay. Uh, Associated Press uh, from America, from United States, whereby uh, this is the second global news agency that you need to know. For final examination, I'll be asking these questions. What are the three top uh, global news agency uh, that you have learning class, for example? So give me the names, okay? So here we have uh, the AP exclusive Associated Press sense uh, AP stands for Associated Press, okay, so this will be the headline, okay, publicly traded firms get 300 million in small business loans. This will be the byline, okay, B-Y-L-I-N-E, the byline for every, uh, for the particular news story. So when we talk about a byline, it is uh, depending on the importance of the news story itself. Okay, so in, uh, for example, if a particular reporter have spent so much time in 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 getting that in getting that particular news and investigating it, uh, most probably uh, he or she will get a byline for the particular news story. But if the particular news story is just um, a normal news story, right? Uh, normally, it, depending, it, it depends on the news organization itself whether to actually indicate a byline for you or not. If it doesn't have a byline, it doesn't matter, but the reporter, him or her, will actually know that that is his or her story. Okay, so it depends on the significance of the story itself. So we have right here uh, the news story for every particular uh, for every particular news okay so you have right here on the right hand side and and and, and do you see that uh, it is uploaded 32 minutes ago so when we talk about online journalism it is uh, a very very fantastic thing where you can actually upload your news at every second it, it it happens so for example if we talk about print news reporting itself you have to uh, compile one day particular news story and you can only publish the next day you cannot publish it as soon as possible so that's the beauty a beautiful thing about online journalism whereby you can actually get the news immediately okay so this is for associated press i would say uh it's a little bit uh, the layout it's a little bit messy but a bit, it, it is uh, you know it's uh, tolerable as well uh, and we go for the third one which is uh, the third global news agency would be Reuters. Reuters is from uh, London whereby uh, I, I have a couple of friends who work for Reuters as well so when when you as a journalist when you go to a press conference so a press conference would be um, 
uh, a particular person uh, inviting media to actually ask questions in regards to the issue. For example, COVID-19, right? So every day, the Minister of uh, Defence would, would have like a, a daily press conference for media to actually ask questions in regards to COVID-19. So uh, at a press conference, if as a journalist, if you come from these three global news agency and you introduce yourself as, uh, for example, I am, uh, I'm Liu and I'm from Reuters. People will be like, oh, Reuters. Yeah, that is for sure. So it's a thing in journalism, if you work for a global news agency, it's a really, really big deal if you come from this organization. If you work for this organization, it means that your investiga uh, investigative skills, your questioning skills, your writing for news is top notch. So yeah, that is a three global news agencies that you need to know. Uh, for your own knowledge as a journalism student. Okay, questions, people. Questions for now. Questions, questions. Uh, questions, questions. No questions. No questions. No. Uh, Angel, questions, Nicholas, Amanda, do you have questions? All Larissa, good. All good. Larissa, Yuvina. Yeah, no, no, no questions. Yui, Memphis, Terrence. All good. Chi, no questions. Wan Ching, Janet. All good. All good. Now fall, Thomas. No. Everybody good, huh? Okay, good. Then I'll yeah. read. Okay, so with that, I'm going to hide this, you're good. Okay, this will be our local news agency, which is uh, Bernama.com. Okay, Bernama.com, whereby <clears throat> it's a Malaysian, uh, global, uh, a Malaysian news agency. Uh, so when we talk about the star, the star is not a news agency, okay? So Bernama will be the national news agency where everything where uh, most news or uh, it comes from Bernama. Okay, so most international news must come from Bernama because all these three AFP, Associated Press, and uh, Reuters will channel will channel their particular international news to Bernama and other newspapers, local newspapers like the Star, News Streets Time. What more? Uh, news Straits Time, uh, Brita Harian will get their news from Bernama because it's a local news agency and you get everything from your local news agency. Okay, your local news agency will contact the global news agency to get international news. Are we clear on that, people? Yep. Yep. Okay, good. So, uh, mind you, uh, when we talk about Bernama.com, Bernama agency itself is uh, running out of funds to actually run the particular organization because when we talk about journalism itself uh, in this digital age, uh, most people say it's, uh, it's a dying uh, industry whereby because of too much internet and too much digitalization, everybody is a reporter. Everybody can share news. It doesn't matter, it's right or wrong. Everybody can share news and, and, and the readers from free newspapers and from uh, news websites are getting much, much uh, lesser day by day. So um, most of my friends and uh, most of my friends who work as a full-time reporter, they have been uh, sacked because of this, because of digitalization, because of changing political parties from time to time, because in Malaysia itself, um, uh, most news agency or news, news companies uh, are being run by political parties. 
groups. Uh, for example, the STAR is uh, is run by MCA. Uh, other uh, other uh, other other newspaper is being run by, for example, Utusan Malaysia is being run uh, by AMNO. That's why so many people reporters from Utusan Malaysia has been sacked as well. Uh, maybe if if you browse through news a couple of months ago, there there is like a particular movement where reporters uh, are losing their jobs and and everybody is pitching in to actually help these you know reporters who have like huge families to 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 give them a little bit of financial help to you know to help them to go through day by day uh, buying daily necessities and so forth. So yeah, so uh, to say it's a dying industry, I would agree. But um, if you like to write, and uh, I would say uh, journalism, with journalism, it can get you to many places because if you have the correct skills, which is writing in media, it will get you to places. I must tell you that, okay? So in journalism, if you were, if you have acquired skills of writing, you can go to advertising, you can go to broadcasting, you can go to PR and so forth because you have the basic foundation writing skills, which is really, really important. That I must tell you. Okay, so uh, it, it, you can live anywhere if you know how to write. That is the most important thing that I have learned throughout my years of living. Okay, and with that, um, I am going to share with you, uh, okay, one, uh, any questions on the summary lead, uh, summary lead uh, tutorial, people? I haven't checked it out yet, but I'm going to give my comments uh, by the end of the week, I will let, I, and I will let you know my 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 thoughts on everybody's work okay so any questions on summary lead news or inverted news pyramid lectures or tutorials no no, no. all clear no. yeah so far is all good so far it's all good okay how how are you doing uh, how is everybody doing in the midst of covid 19 and staying at home thingy are you guys going nuts? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. No? It's so pretty yeah. boring back home yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hoping that everything will be open as soon as possible. Oh my god. Oh, I'm 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 dying day by day. Okay. So <laughs> uh with that, uh I am going to share with you. Uh, a particular uh, document right here. I'm going to show you one particular exercise, okay? <clears throat> okay, so this would be a new story that I got from uh, my particular uh, textbook of uh, news writing. Can everybody see my desktop screen? That desktop screen? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so with that, this is one particular story, uh, okay, one particular story, and I would like to uh, do with everybody uh, a particular new story together, okay. So let me read together with you, okay, so the deadline is April 20th, it's a story, I will do this as a hard new story. Uh, officers announced yesterday arrest figures for Christmas holiday weekend. Arrests were made by the Pennsylvania State Police Highway Division. Arrested were 2,114 suspected drunk drivers. That's far more than 1,491 arrested last year. The petrol is making a concerted effort to keep drunken, drunken drivers off the highways was responsible for 41% increase in statewide drunken driving arrests. That statement is by Susan Counts Sots, the division's commander of public affairs, blah, 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 made 274 drunk driving arrests during the holiday period. The holiday period was from 6 p.m. Friday to midnight Christmas day. The 274 arrests were 72 more than last year. So what I'm going to do with you is to do a two, uh, three paragraphs of a news story together with you, okay? So uh, together. 
So which is, I want to ask everybody, which is the most important information that we can make as a lead from this particular news story here? Can you type in your chat box, please? Which is the most important information right here? <coughs> to make as a lead, a lead. The first paragraph, okay. That is Eric, okay. How about other people, Angel? Manfus, Nafal, Elaine, Larissa, the amount of suspected drivers, okay. Some more? Other people, Elaine? The increase in drunk drivers, Nicholas. All right, that's good. Keeping drunk drivers off the highways. Okay, good. So what I wanted uh, you to do now is to do the first lead, okay? Because we are in journalism. In five minutes, I want all of you to do the first uh, lead of the news story and type it in the chat box. That would be five marks for uh, the lead. So I'm giving you five minutes from now by 3.31, everybody must have a lead, okay? So I repeat again from this particular news story, okay, create one lead, which is the first paragraph of the news story, one sentence only, highlighting the most important information in this particular news story. Okay, so everybody ready? And start five marks for this particular week. <coughs> and four minutes. Uh, no headline, only lead. Okay, Eric? Only the lead, one sentence only. Okay, create one sentence only, highlighting, highlighting the most important information of the story. Okay, very, very good, Dive. Three more minutes. Okay, everybody, uh, please submit it by 3.31. Detail, yes, very good, Liwe, for a first lead. Okay, good, Yuvina. Pennsylvania State Police Highway Division. Okay, good. Sheen.
Okay, good, Angel. Other people? Two more minutes. Come on, deadline, deadline, deadline. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, good, two, seven, four, good, Larissa. Okay, okay, good, Eric, Memphis, very good. Okay, James, really good. One more minute. I'm going to take only those who have posted right in the chat box and will award you with five marks. <clears throat> okay, a lead, uh, Eric, would be uh, the first paragraph uh, of a new story, which, uh, which, which highlights the most important information, which is the five W and one H. So in the lead, you must cram whatever happened in a particular incident, what, why, when, uh, if you can include where and how uh, the particular incident happened, that would be good as well. Yeah. So that is a lead, the first paragraph of a new story, only one sentence. Is that clear, Eric? Okay, good. Okay. We did good. Okay. Page the office is made blunder. Okay, good. Now, Fall and Thomas. All right. Okay, with that, very good people. Okay. So uh, I will take, uh, when we do a particular news story, I must, I must emphasize this, whereby there is no right or wrong because different people have different interpretation in seeing what is uh, the most important information. Okay, so it can be 274 drunk driving arrests and you can actually um, uh, uh, highlight 2,114 uh, 2, suspected drunk drivers. It is depending back on the news angle itself. Okay, so where do you want to, how do you want to angle your particular news story? Is it uh, you want to highlight the suspected drunk drivers or you want to uh, highlight the 274 drunk driving arrests by the PhD officers? It is depending back on the writer itself. So there is no right or wrong in writing a news. Okay, just that you have to organize your information according to what you think is important at that point of time. Okay, so news angle, okay, I wanna, I wanna type right here, news angle would be the interpretation of a journalist of an issue. Okay, so for example, we will have, let's say, 19 people in a class, right? 19 people in a class. 19 people would have a different interpretation if I say, for example, in a lecture that I am very sexy. You would say, oh, yeah. Another, another person, uh, Nafa would say, really? Another, uh, Eric would say, oh, my God. Uh, Larissa would be like, oh, yeah. So, you know, it depends back on the person that is no right or wrong in writing news. Okay, so different people have different interpretations. So when you say, oh, you write your news really wrong this time. So there's no such thing. Okay, so that's why uh, one particular news, when you read the same news in, in, in different, different news websites, right? Uh, it's, 
particularly most of it the same, just that how 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 it is being written very very differently because it is being interpret in interpreted uh, in, in, interpreted in a different way by the various different person. Okay, so news angle coming back is the interpretation of a journalist of an issue, which is good. Okay, can we have you? Can we have a quick one in two minutes to do the second paragraph? Second paragraph of the news story, and five marks for this particular exercise. So for now, uh, uh, right now, I would like you to do the second paragraph of this particular news story right now in two minutes. Can you do that? A follow up from your first paragraph quickly. The next important information of your news story. I want, I want to see how you write your news. Okay. Tick tock, tick tock, two minutes. One more minute. Quickly, quickly. Tick tock, tick tock. Five marks, five marks. Okay, Eric, not bad. Okay, Karen's not bad. Okay, good. Okay, good, Janet. Okay, good, Memphis. One more minute, people. Caught the wrong driver's school significantly higher. Okay, good, Nicholas. Good, Memphis. 337 quickly other people tick tock tick tock yuvina larissa ryu okay Good, James. Okay, not bad. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. Okay, you guys got an idea how to do the second paragraph, which is great. This is really, really good. I'm really, really happy. Okay, good job, people. 10 marks in total for uh, almost uh, people who are in the chat box, who type in the chat box right now. Ah, Larissa, 338 to always, always. Okay, uh, respect the deadline. Okay, with that, I am going to tell you uh, how to do the third paragraph. So, which is good. The first paragraph would be the lead, uh, which is the most important information. The second paragraph must relate to the first paragraph. The third paragraph would be a quotation from a source. Okay, what you see here, that statement is by Susan Cowan Scott, Division uh, Commander of Public Affairs. Okay, she said PhD officers demonstra demonstrated a real ag aggressive attitude towards drunken drivers. Okay, so this particular statement right here, uh, until up till drunken drivers would be. 
from Susan Count Scott. Susan Count Scott would be your source. S O S O U R C E. So how would you you write your 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 third paragraph in a particular news story? Okay, must have a quotation. Every news story must have a quotation whereby you quote somebody for that particular news story. So for every news that you want to, uh, you know, to write, or you go for an interview, you must interview a person that is relatable for to your news story. So for example, if you write on a murder case, you must interview a person, might it be the victim or the rapist or the police officer in charge, so that your news story would be credible, that, that it is true that people can say, oh, this, this particular news story is true because he or he have interviewed a person uh, for his or her news story, okay? So, for example, right here would be the statement is uh, by Susan Count Scott, the Division Commander of Public uh, Affairs. So, so, you can rewrite it. So, for example, right here, uh, 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 open quotation, patrol, is making a concerted, uh, a concerted effort to keep drunken drivers off the highway. Okay, uh, said, uh, sorry, comma, Susan Pound sought said okay so in in quotation okay oh is it is it is it stuck everybody can actually see my screen is it stuck now okay how about for thomas and alpha and for james okay good Okay, so I wanna. Uh, this would be a third paragraph. I wanna. I wanna share with you, you guys, that you have to do a quotation to make your news story credible. So, for example, okay, petrol. Open quotation. Petrol is making a concerted effort to keep drunken, uh, drunken drivers off the highway. Sorry. Okay. So, beef in in quoting a person, in attributing a person. Okay, I'll be I'll I'll be slow in I'll be a little bit slow in explaining. In attributing a person, okay, uh, who is making that statement, you have to, okay, you have to mention the person's name first, okay, the person's name first, then the position of the person. That is really really important in a new story. Okay, so for example, Susan Count Sot, okay, and you can, and you, comma, or Susan Count, comma, the Susan Count Scott, the Division Commander of Public Affairs, yes, can as well, in a different way. So if you, uh, you can quote it like that as well, leeway. So make sure to uh, look out for my video lecture in attributing uh, a source. That is really, really important for you to uh, to watch, okay? So that would be another way. That would be, uh, you know, rephrasing in, uh, rephrasing the particular statement. You can direct quote as what I did just now right here. Okay, so coming back, uh, Susan Counsot, the division's commander of public affairs. So you have to make it, uh, you have to make it in capitals to, to highlight the position of the person. Remember the person's name first, then the position, not the position, then the person's name, because the person's name Okay, the person is owning the position of the job, not the position of the job owning that particular individual. Am I clear on that, people? Okay, so remember that when we talk about uh, we talk about introducing ourselves, uh, uh, a student. When we talk about a student, now now far right high, no. 
it will be Naufa Raihan, a student. So, the particular person is who, okay? So, you must be proud. Uh, it's it's, it's, it's uh, how I learned throughout the years of being a reporter. Uh, but some some particular news organization you, you will see, they will uh, emphasize in, in writing the position first, then the person's name, especially in the United States. But... You know, it depends back into how the particular uh, reporter practices a particular uh, news writing style. Okay, so it depends. Okay, question so far before we get to the last part of our lecture for today. Very good, people. Ten marks for everybody. In the chat box, who have typed your answers? All good? Okay, good. Okay, with that, I am going, okay, I'm going to share with you 10 marks included in exam. No, 10 marks for only uh, assessment wise. Okay. Okay, I'm going to hide my floating meeting controls. <laughs> okay, and uh, share with you an opinion piece people need. Okay. So uh, I'm going to share with you one particular news story. For your news blog posting, okay? For your news blog posting, remember, news blog posting would be uh, would due this Sunday by 9 p.m. Okay? So that will be your first news posting in blog, uh, in uh, in your blog. So I am going to give a link in link in time so you download uh, you just give me a, your URL there, then I will uh, go and, and, and read your particular blog. The blog can be anything about, yeah, any topic. Okay, so I'm going to explain it right here. Okay, so for your blog posting, okay, for your blog posting, which is 5% in total throughout these 14 weeks together, okay, uh, every week you must write about something, okay? So it doesn't matter about anything. It must be about a current issue, okay? If if and only if you don't want to write about a current issue, okay? Fine, fine. Write about anything, okay? But preferably, it must be about a current issue. For example, drive. Uh, for example, uh, the COVID nineteen is driving me insane, and you vote. Or what to do during the MCO also can. Ah, uh, yeah, what to do during the MCO. It can be about anything. Okay, so there are uh, several types of, of how you go. Uh, you are going to do about uh, the news, uh, the blog posting. So the blog posting every week must be a different topic. Okay, cannot be a current. Uh, how current must the issue be? Uh, two months current okay must be within this two months of an issue okay would that be okay james okay okay with that okay uh there's uh various types of writing that you can opt for your blog posting the first one which is to write on a to-do list uh, or, 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 or a blog diary posting on what to do in MCO. MCO also can. The second type, okay, is to do a summary of a news posting. Okay, so I'm going to give you an example right here. So let's say, okay, let's say you come across this particular, you read something in a, in a news website. It must be a news website. Uh, can we talk about the theories concerning the COVID-19? Yeah, sure, Angel. Why not? No, that's not too deep. Huh? That's, uh, that's current. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Okay, I'm going to give you an example of, for example, anything that you have read in the internet. Let's say here, five recorded cases, uh, COVID-19 cases in Sabah found positive in follow-up text. Okay? So what you do, you have, uh, so for example, you have read this particular news story, okay? 
one particular news story right here. Oh, five COVID-19 patients who were reported to have recorded in Sandakan and Kinang Batangan have been found to be still infected by the virus in the follow-up two days later. Then you read the whole thing. Okay, she added five patients subsequently, subsequently came up positive in follow-up tests and blah, 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 blah. So what you do in your particular uh, news, uh, your, your, your blog posting is that, after you read this, you think you want to highlight it for your blog posting, right? So you just summarize this, okay? You can say, you, you say, oh, I want to uh, write about, uh, for example, right here, or uh, we covered, uh, let's say the high, uh, the topic would be we covered COVID-19 uh, cases in Sabah, right? So this would be the topic. So, and you want to write about, uh, you summarize the first particular news right here. So, for example, uh, uh, reading, okay, reading uh, the article on uh, COVID-19 cases by the star, I felt pretty offended. Uh, okay, because from what I uh, learned being uh, a local in Sabah, uh uh blah 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 so you can you can quote anything that you read uh from the news site from the news uh website and quote it in your particular writing for your blog posting okay am i clear people it can be about covid 19 you can include pictures as well it can be about anything else than COVID-19. It can be about sports. It can be about entertainment. It can be about uh, uh, please open uh, Taylor's uh, or whatsoever forth. Okay. But, okay. But I must tell you to actually quote, a, you must at least quote a particular one particular news, news story in your blog posting can we can we do that people okay so anything that you want to write on huh? quote without sauce what do you mean james what do you mean uh Yes, okay, for example, okay, for example, okay, let's say uh, uh, this particular news story, five recorded, uh, according to here, according to the Star Online, okay, according Star Online, okay, according to Star Online 2020, five cases uh, have been uh, reported, uh, uh, you know, uh, five cases uh, of co uh, of COVID nineteen have been recovered. La 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 la. This is how you only quote. Yeah, and you can go on and on about your uh, opinion. Okay, now, what if we cannot find a source to back up our post? Uh, you must find, you must find at least one. Yes, that's a trick to write your news blog posting. Yes. Can we do that, people? Okay, so you can do, can go on and on. For example, uh, things to do uh, for MCO, right? Th things to do for MCO is to... Uh, wash your hands and sanitize. Then you quote someone who actually sanitize. Okay, that it's so easy. There's a lot of news stories on sanitizing and washing your hands. Uh, so must have at least one quotation on any news website. 
it is a post of a current news with any topic based on own feelings. Yes, that is what we are doing right here. So that is what we call an opinion piece. Okay. Eh, why do I send to Angel only? This is what we call opinion piece. Does the source has to be like from Malaysia? No, it can be anywhere. Okay, questions. Questions, people. Every single post must have a quote. Yes, one quote minimum. Other people? Questions? Memphis, Terrence, Surin, Akfal. <coughs> Nicholas, no questions. Okay. No questions. Huh? Any questions in regards to the what if insert video? Okay, good. Insert video. There is. Must quote at least one. So I am going to browse through how you write your news posting for the first week. I will let you know uh, how to enhance it individually by the uh, upcoming week. No, no specific amount of words. Okay, but make sure to be more, more than enough for me to evaluate. The source must it be like from news or can be from organization as well. Preferably news, but if you can't find from news from other organizations, would be fine. Okay, other other people, questions. More than 250 words, less than 1,000. Okay, Larissa, you got me. Yes, that's correct. Wait, miss. Hey, yes, wait, if we, yes, you uh, can insert video, Eric. Okay, questions? So I must, I must tell you this, that the news blog posting is very, very important, which is it's every time you do, that's three marks right there, 5%. So make sure to do it weekly, never miss it. Every week must be different topic. Cannot all, will be, all must be in, uh, on COVID-19, cannot. One, this week COVID-19, the next week must be different, okay? So, uh, must quote one particular uh, uh, information from a news website. And, uh, and I will upload a section in the Times uh, to, uh, for you to upload the URL so I can check it out and give you feedback by the end of the week, okay? So before uh, we uh, end our lecture for today, any questions for the tutorial and things like that? Or the uh, lectures or whatever, whatever I can, uh, you know, answer. I will, we will have uh, our Zoom meeting uh, at three as well next week. So don't forget to attend. I will give more information of how, and we will practice together how to do a new story every week. So it, your your writing will become better. Ah, uh, Miss, I actually go, forgot to watch your video for week one. Please come on, Eric. And the time will fall. No questions at the moment. Okay, good. Okay, no questions at the moment. Uh, and with that, can uh, someone create a WhatsApp group for me and add everybody or add me into the uh, WhatsApp group, please? <gasps> yes, Libby? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, no, I don't. You want to do it earlier? From two to three. Okay, I, 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 anything will be fine. Uh, okay, I, anything will be fine. Everybody want to do from two to three. <coughs> two to three p.m. Weekly meeting, two to three p.m. Okay. 
Okay, then next week we do from two to three. Is that all right with everyone else? Until 10 what? 10 a.m. Oh, okay. Huh? Why? Why, Yuvina? Why? Why you cannot come, is it? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so next week, <laughs> next week from 2 to 3 p.m. will be our weekly Zoom, me Zoom meeting. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, that's about it for uh, uh, this week's um, uh, Zoom meeting. And I'll be seeing you guys uh, next week from 2 to 3 Please let me know if you have any questions. Please WhatsApp me. And uh, please uh, create a WhatsApp group for me. Please add me into the WhatsApp group. It's, if possible, to create a new group for online journalism so that it will be easier for me to reach to all of you. And uh, yeah, that will be all. Any questions, people? Yeah, any questions that I can answer all good yes liwe yeah huh 10 a.m oh 10 a.m class next week can 10 a.m oh 10 a.m cannot uh, uh liwe sorry liwe Nine to ten. Uh, two to two to three can ah huh? people. Ayo, riwe. Yeah, two to three. Okay. Okay, two to three. <laughs> okay. Okay. With that, uh, thank you very much, people, for uh for being online. It has been a great pleasure of one hour introducing to all sorts of uh, things to you. We will practice more of our, our news writing uh, next week. I'll get my feedbacks uh, for your tutorial work uh, by end of the week. And please add me in the WhatsApp group. Please stay safe. Thank you very much. And uh, Selamat Berpuasa to all. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Ciao, ciao, ciao.